Welcome, talented viewers, to this edition of Healthy Living, as we present the second and final episode in our series, Australia's Mission X, Finding Health and Happiness, featuring Ralph Benn, the raw vegan founder and chief executive officer of Mission X and the Australian Institute of Health and Nutrition. Mission X is obviously uh, a big project I've been working on for the last four or five years. It is um, a place where we educate people uh, in regards to health questions, um, fitness, so we obviously um, have the physical aspect, so meaning we teach sport, martial arts, boot camps, personal training. I have an office in the city where I do uh, coaching and counseling for certain problems like relationship coaching or coaching or eating disorders. Uh, weight loss is a big, uh, big issue for many people because 60% of the Australian population are overweight or obese uh, and, the, and the numbers are raising. Diabetes is obviously uh, the biggest one right now. So I um, help to educate people and, and obviously guide them uh, out of the misery towards the light, back to a normal life and, and health and happiness. Mr. Ben is also a raw vegan nutrition expert, an athlete, an entrepreneur, and the best-selling author of Unlocking Your Health and Happiness. He is known as one of Australia's leading authorities on healthy living, disease prevention, and the raw vegan diet. If you live on a raw vegan diet or even on a, on a vegan diet, your energy level is so much higher than the average person because obviously you not need so much energy to digest your food because it just works the way nature has designed us. But what led Mr. Ben to pursue the path of informing and advising others about health, holistic living and disease prevention? I always have been an athlete. I started martial arts when I was age seven. Um, so that was my first exposure to obviously uh, learning martial arts, um, the mental and physical side of, of martial arts. And then um, later on, I um, got my hands on some amazing books and attended seminars. And I was so keen to learn more and more about the whole subject, um, um, a vegan lifestyle, a raw vegan lifestyle. And, a holistic lifestyle, obviously living uh, as close to nature as, as possible, you know. So, and it, it made so much sense to me. So I I was fired up, and 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 since then I'm obviously practicing myself. I teach it. I live the dream and lead by example. Yeah. Can you tell us why is being a vegan so good for the body, the mind, and the soul? And does it give you all the energy that you need in your very energetic lifestyle? My whole uh, Mission X journey is, is a high energy project uh, to, to show people how, how happy and how energetic you can actually be on a, on a vegan lifestyle, especially on a raw vegan um, diet or, or lifestyle. And um, yeah, to answer your question, which is a great question, when you are vegan or raw vegan, you, you live so close to nature because you only obviously eat uh, things are made for our bodies from, from nature. We've been eating millions of years that way and just recently we, we changed that dramatically. So the soul and, and the mind obviously gets clear. You know, you get you in clarity, you, you become razor sharp because you only eat food with our, in the same vibration with our, our body, our cells. So we feed our cells living food enzymes and it obviously comes back so that's why you have a lot of energy and you naturally happy because happy happiness comes from within you know success is not the key to happiness happiness is the key to success we ask ralph ben to discuss his book unlocking your health and happiness So the book is actually uh, written in an easy to understand way because I want to bring our measures out uh, mainstream to uh, make health and um, fitness and a vegan lifestyle cool again. To show how easy it is to, to live close to nature and apply 
self-care and self-education on, on a daily basis. The book is structured in three parts. The first part is showing and uncovering the misery, um, such as cancer, heart disease, diabetes. We all know a bit about it because we see people dying around us or getting sick on a daily basis. And we have obviously the statistics and the information in media. The second part is um, showing the reason for the misery, uncovering the reasons for the misery. And that's uh, uh, a part where people have no clue about anymore. Why is it all happens to us? Why cancer is now the number one killer, heart disease uh, number two, and those two diseases actually alone uh, covering about 80, 90 percent of the deaths um, occurring um, these days. And the third part obviously is showing the solution for the misery and giving you hands-on advice, recipes, um, workouts and a lot of things so you can actually start right now and change your life. Are there any particular examples of how people have changed their lives or changed their health that you can share with us? My clients, they inspire me pretty much every day because when I see the changes they make in their lifestyles, when I see their bodies changing, they're losing weight, they're toning up, and not only the look, it's about uh, things happening inside. Obviously, they're more stress resistant. We do like boxing uh, and martial arts, which obviously is uh, my background. So I apply that in all my sessions and all my uh, sport activities. We do a bit of boxing and kickboxing and even, you know, partner drills and, and people love it because it helps them to deal with stress. It's not only what, what we eat, but even what's eating us. And that's very important as well to understand. That's why the mind kicks in all the time. And it's, it's a holistic, holistic approach. That's why my book is a holistic book. It, uh, it addresses all the parts like non-toxic relationships, fresh air, sunshine, fitness, nutrition, good sleep and so on. Can you just give us a better yeah. understanding about protein in the diet and where do you get protein from your raw vegan diet? Oh, that's a great uh, question. And that's obviously the first question I always get myself when people find out that I'm actually a raw vegan. They first say, wow, you look so good, so healthy and you have so much energy and you do so much uh, stuff, so many cool things. And, and where do you get your protein from, you know, how do you do it? And even sometimes vegetarians and vegans ask me that question, which obviously shows us that there is a lot of uh, still misunderstanding. It's probably the top, the, one of the, uh, the biggest topic where the misunderstanding is, is just so huge about our protein intake and where it's coming from. Look, we, uh, we actually, um, we don't need much protein. When someone asks me a question, I sometimes ask back, um, do you know how much protein do you need? Or how much do you know how much you actually get right now? So obviously it is a marketing induced uh, misconception. So they, they think now they have to eat a lot of meat and dairy and to actually uh, get the protein. But answering your question, there is so much protein in, in our green foods and I love the greens. Um, just to give you an example, spinach, for example, has 30% protein and cheese has 26% protein. But the cheese comes with 72% fat at the same time, while our greens, delicious spinach, for instance, comes with almost zero fat. 30% protein with zero fat. And on the other side, we have almost the same amount of protein, but a lot of fat. That's why people gain a lot of weight in a short time and don't know why, because they have no explanation for it. So I show another few examples just to um, uh, make my point clear. Asparagus, for instance, 27% protein. Coarse lettuce, bok choy, all the greens have a lot of protein, ranging from 10 to 30%, which is massive. And the good thing is the body can assimilate it so much easier than any other protein coming from an animal-based protein. Okay, even fruit. i just quickly show you. Tomato is a fruit as well, most people don't know that. Has 12% protein. Mandarins, 7%. Mandarins and orange, 7%. So there's obviously a lot of protein and everything we eat coming directly from nature. Is the vegan diet the new cool diet, the trend of today's society? It definitely is a new cool trend and more and more people are moving towards that, um, that direction because they, they, they notice that it is the best 
lifestyle is not clogging up your arteries, what happens when you eat so much meat and dairy products. Um, you know, um, topics like cancer, heart disease, diabetes are not even coming up if you live on a healthy vegan diet, on a low fat vegan diet especially. And um, yeah, so definitely it will give you so much more energy and um, a long and happy life, that's for sure. Ralph Benn is a lover of animals, and this is yet another reason he chooses the winning plant-based diet. We have no right to, to kill or slaughter them, so it is a very good move to, to go towards vegetarian or vegan lifestyle, because you save the animals, you save the planet, and you save your own life, because that's what makes you uh, vital and happy. Our warmest regards to you, Ralph Ben, and all the other members of Mission X for your love and dedication in spreading a message of peace, love, health and happiness. Make a difference in your own life, using less toxins, less packaged stuff, uh, eat more whole foods, maybe switch to a raw vegan lifestyle and um, obviously do the right things to yourself, to the planet, to the animals and um, everything will be fine and you will gain a level of happiness and self-confidence and self-awareness you never had before. For more information on Mission X, please visit www.missionx.com.au. Ralph Ben's book, Unlocking Your Health and Happiness, is available at the same website. Mission X TV can be viewed at www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Mission X TVI. Joyful viewers, thank you for joining us today on Healthy Living. May the day soon come when harmony abounds in all corners of the world. For more details, please see www.suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.